what's up so today uh, yeah I'm pretty happy today so um, yeah we'll talk about all my gear I use in F3K today especially we will talk about my radio gear uh, so only the radio not the receiver servos all the things only the radio itself and um, yeah we'll start a new series about all these things. So let's go ahead, we will not waste any time, let's go! So there is my two radio I currently use. So yes, uh, I fly in mode 1 for everyone don't know. So um, yeah, they are both equipped uh, with uh, all effect uh, gimbals and this one is an Ternis Plus SE and this one turn is plus upgraded with all sensor sticks. So I will talk a bit about why I fly with FreeSky Radio and uh, why not with other ones. So first of all, number one, for me, uh, maybe for not everyone, but the price. Uh, the turn is, is pretty low priced. It's around 220 euros to 280. Uh, depend of if you are taking the really basic version or the really expensive one so with the aluminium box, with the big receiver, with all these things so it really depends about this. this and the price range is still pretty low next uh, I fly with FreeSky nearly since I began so around... Uh, around there. Yeah, this is my first uh, Tyranis and she's still in really good shape because I'm still using it and I have no any issue at all. I just changed the sticks, so that's it. We will talk a bit about why I use all effect gimbals instead of uh, standard gimbals. This is the uh, old ones was in my Tyranis uh, this is the only thing uh, can regularly fail in the Tyranis. Uh, it's the, these gimbals. So, why? Because uh, standard gimbals with standard sensors, um, because all effects work with uh, different sensors than this, and this sensor, uh, the sensors in the, this gimbal are uh, like a fork like this, scratching a piece of carbon, so it's condu conductive carbon, and uh, depend where the fork is, it will signal where it is by the current in the carbon plate. It's yeah, it's it's simple said like this, but it's way more complicated in real because it's a sensor. So um, and it's because when you move the stick it will make a different uh, current or something like this. I don't know exactly how it works but it's... yeah, you understand. Uh, it makes the position of the stick and because we move it a lot we, u we use a lot the... we scratch a lot the surface of the carbon and at one moment it will be too much scratched and the gimbal will be not accurate at all. Uh, one of my old gimbals, so this one is still pretty good, it's why I keep it. Um, one was 15% off, so I need to move the stick to 15% before uh, it detects I moved the stick. So it's why I upgraded to all sensor gimbals because I will explain to you all work all effect gimbals so it's magnetic field uh, sensor so no any contact so no friction no anything uh, just the springs that's it and it's what I really 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 like in the sticks it's the feeling with no any friction only the tension of the spring and I, I like that so much that I just took this one, I said, oh yeah, it's better, I need the second Terranis, so I took di directly 
the SE with the all effect gimbals in it. Um, so it's not a lot of difference between uh, all, uh, SE, it's a bit better switch, uh, all effect gimbal already and uh, uh, you can just dismount the antenna. So it's if you have a smaller box or something like this and you don't want to to damage the antenna you can just unplug it. So yeah all effect gimbals uh, should have less issue uh, in the time and with the humidity and all this thing because uh, it can less fail because the sensors are magnetic and um, should be more durable all these things. And what I really like is the accuracy of the sticks. This, the, these sticks brand new are accurate to 0.5%. These sticks brand new are to 0.1%. So it's really, really a big deal for me because uh, I I can feel if I really can feel the difference because uh, only by one click of trim I feel the difference. So with the difference uh, of tolerance of uh, the sticks, I really can tell if it's better or not. It's really, really a big deal, and uh, I like a lot uh, the all effect gimbals. So now. Why, when you start, you should uh, go with a Taranis instead of something else? Uh, if you have the money uh, and you can spend as much as you want, uh, you, you can buy anything. But the Taranis is so much powerful than, that you will never be stuck because of the um, radio can't do this. Because a Taranis can do everything okay she can't do the coffee and maybe maybe the x12 can do it i don't know <laughs> but uh yeah it's it's really that much the radio is nearly without limits and it's what i like with the with this radio and i think it's the the big deal which make it really cool to do and Plus, uh, you are if you are afraid about uh, the too much opening of OpenTX, you can download a Lua script, and the Lua script will make your SDK fly and easy to program as as a, as a Gropner or Fudaba or something like this. It it will be really really easy to program because the Lua script will translate the, the, the program, the free program in the radio. So yeah, I, I think you will, you will really like it and the, um, the QX7 is only 120 euros. So around that, because it moves some time. So yeah, it's fairly cheap, it's really powerful and you you can just drill holes in the radio me I put my preset right there I think you can see it there and I just drill a hole I did some solder all these things and I'm not afraid to do it because the radio is not expensive on the radio cost 7 or 800 euros I would be really really more afraid than this so, yeah, I think the, the FreeSky radio are really good. Uh, <laughs> they are really able because, yeah, you see that uh, mine is nearly four years old and I flew something like 2000 hours with it. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I can tell it's really able. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it why I fly with this radio. Um, I hope you like my my videos lately. Uh, I I'm trying to show you I do not only S3K. I do drones. I do many stuff. I think I will do more live vlogs too. Uh, I don't know if you would like to see that, but maybe um, I'm I will publish some more um, drone videos 
uh, in the next uh, days because uh, I just did a good race um, on the last weekend so yeah I hope you will appreciate it so thank you a lot for watching thank you to the 1.4k subscribers uh, it means a lot to me so yeah that's it for me for today thank you again for watching and see you next time bye